On May 11, 2016, Nationals pitcher Max Scherzer stared down the Tigers' Justin Upton on an 0-2 count. Scherzer threw a perfect changeup that died and fell out of the zone just as Upton swung. It was his 20th strikeout of the game, an MLB record, and he had one more out to go. Third base side, Rendon to second, game over. The single game strikeout record held off another valiant effort, and in this video, you'll find out why it will withstand the test of time. Yes, forever. If you wanna live a healthy, active lifestyle, one thing is unavoidable. You're always going to be on the go. That's why I'm here to tell you about Factor, a meal service that fits your lifestyle goals by delivering fresh, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Oh, and guess what? These meals are ready to go. Pop them in the microwave and free up more of your time. Factor menus are updated weekly and include over 27 meals and 33 add-on options. And you can customize your diet plan. Keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan or veggie, it's all here. They also have meals in a bottle. I drink one of their smoothies in the morning for breakfast and then zap one of their delicious meals for lunch. They taste great and are low calorie. So after this video, head to go.factor75.com slash 5 points 120 and use code 5 points 120 to get $120 off your first five weeks of meals. Again, that's go.factor75.com slash 5 points 120 from the link below and use code 5 points 120 to get $120 off your first five weeks of meals. Max Scherzer is one of four pitchers to fan 20 batters in a single game. The first to do it was Roger Clemens. He struck out 20 Mariners in 1986 and a decade later repeated the feat, stacking 20 Ks against the Tigers in 1996. Two years later, rookie Kerry Wood put Cubs fans in a frenzy when he set down 20 Astros in 1998, mowing down a lineup that included a couple Hall of Famers. And then there's Randy Johnson, who in 2001 recorded 20 of his nearly 5,000 career strikeouts in one game against the Cincinnati Reds. Johnson would weirdly get a no decision in that game. Six years have passed since Max Scherzer sent 20 of his former team's players packing. But in terms of baseball evolution, it feels like 100 years have passed since he did the deed. Why is this record getting harder to break? Here are some interesting numbers. In 2022, the average swing and miss or whiff rate is 25.7%, up from 23.4% back in 2016 when Scherzer tied the record. More players are trying to increase their launch angle and hard hit percentage. In total, strikeouts have also gone up dramatically in recent history. Back in 86, the average team caved 5.9 times per game. That number climbed to 8.03 strikeouts per game in 2016. Ks per game peaked in 2019 when the average team struck out 8.8 .8 times. So you're probably asking, shouldn't someone have hit 20 or even more strikeouts in this swing first, ask questions later kind of league? The answer is surprisingly no, but for a heartbreaking reason. In 2019, when strikeouts peaked, Red Sox pitcher Chris Sale looked like he might tie the 20K record, even break it. Sale had struck out 17 Rockies in just seven innings, meaning he needed to fan four of his next six batters to reach 21 Ks. It was the most strikeouts through seven innings ever way ahead of every other guy's pace. The problem wasn't Sale, whose only snafu was a two run shot surrender to Nolan Arenado. It was his manager. Alex Cora. It turns out Cora wasn't as interested in making history as he was in winning the game. Get used to this. Sale got the hook after seven and the Rockies would strike out seven more times as the game went into extras. Boston eventually blew their lead and lost 5-4 in 11 innings. This might seem like an extreme example, but it explains why it's going to be impossible for one pitcher to get 21 Ks in nine innings. It's the big elephant in the room the dreaded pitch count. While a strikeout is the most impressive outcome for a pitcher, it's certainly not the most efficient. To get to 20 strikeouts, you'd need to cock back and throw at least 60 times. To break the record, 63 times. And that's just the minimum pitch count in a perfect world. Pitchers are throwing fewer pitches per start than they were in years past. Managers are more attuned to the need for rest and the idea of diminishing return for pitches thrown personal accomplishments be damned. 
Today, the generally accepted pitch limit for starters is around 100 pitches, and more and more pitchers are getting yanked after 80. Back in the day of Clemens, Wood, and Johnson, it wasn't unusual to hit 125 pitches. Hell, Nolan Ryan once threw 235 pitches in a game. 235 pitches. Half the league just got Tommy John surgery hearing me say that. The elite pitchers of today just aren't allowed to eat innings like they used to. In 2021, Jacob deGrom only topped 100 pitches in one of his 15 starts. Corbin Burns, who won the NL Cy Young Award and led Major League Baseball in strikeouts per nine in 2021, only surpassed 100 pitches in 21% of his starts. Scherzer was able to strike out 20 Tigers because he pitched ultra aggressively. Only 23 of his 119 pitches missed the strike zone, and he didn't walk a single batter. That plan also led to a couple home runs allowed, but it kept the pitch count at 119, which still feels way too high for most managers to stomach. Certainly not Dave Roberts. The second mitigating factor is the average number of pitches per game as a whole are on the rise. Back in 1988, the first year with available statistics, the average team threw 121.5 pitches per entire game. In 2022, the average team throws 147.5 pitches per game. That's a 21% increase in 34 years. Well, why is this? Batters are swinging hard for the fences, sure, but they're also a little more discerning in Max Scherzer's day than they were in Roger Clemens' day, and that's driving up pitch counts. The batter's ability to extend at bats with the quick hook from managers creates an environment where 20K seem more and more like a relic of the past, a different game even. Plus, advanced scouting and, you know, trash cans drive up pitch counts. A new rule. Today, we have the universal designated hitter, AKA the removal of the free out via the opposing pitcher. Well, unless you're facing Bartolo Colon. Of course, this was previously only a consideration in the National League, so what Clemens did was extra saucy. But let's consider what it meant to rack up 20Ks in the NL pre-2022. For Kerry Wood in 1998, that meant an easy strikeout when facing Astros pitcher Shane Reynolds. When Johnson struck out 20 Reds in 2001, two of them came against opposing pitcher Chris Rietzma. Sidebar, one of them was a pinch hitter by the name of Deion Sanders, who was actually a pretty decent hitter. 15 years later, Max Scherzer's 20 strikeouts included a K of Jordan Zimmerman and one more when he faced pinch hitter Jared Saltalamacchia. I included that part because I wanted to say Saltalamacchia. The universal DH takes the bat out of pitchers' hands. It cuts down on a lot of hilarious swings and a lot of strikeouts. So it might not be a significant thing now, but it does cut down the opportunity for what was once 50% of baseball. When you add up pitch counts, batters working pitches, advanced scouting, and the universal DH, the single game strikeout record simply cannot be broken. Unless... All right, so who could break it? Corbin Burns in 2022 is currently leading Major League Baseball with 98.6 pitches per game. How normal. He's also striking out 10.5 batters per nine innings and setting down 6.7 batters for every walk surrendered. And that last stat is very important. The fewer walks you're giving up, the lower the pitch count. And that's really the end all be all in this discussion, isn't it? Another worthy contender for the crown might be Blue Jays pitcher, Kevin Gosman. Gosman throws over 92 pitches a game, strikes out over 10 batters per nine and has an absurd 13 to one strikeout to walk ratio. That's almost double what we're seeing out of Corbin Burns. At age 31, Gosman is really hitting his stride, solidifying his ERA under three and playing with a newfound durability that might convince manager Charlie Montoyo that the pitch count can be a little more flexible than with most other guys on the team. But if you really think about it, the most likely guy to hit 21 strikeouts is somewhat obvious. If you're going to make a bet, why not bet on the guy that's already done it before? Give me 21 strikeouts, Scherzer said on an appearance on the Chris Rose Rotation podcast. I enjoyed my 20 strikeout game more than my no hitters. When I reflect upon that, when I look backwards, that's just a sign of getting after it to strike out 20. Yeah, I know the window is small. Scherzer's 37 and God damn it, never mind. Ultimately, we know that the 20 strikeout record is more than anything else a sign of how much baseball has changed in the last few decades. It's no longer a game of workhorse pitchers throwing until their arms come off. The game has changed. The record will remain. 20 strikeouts for Max Scherzer.